Single serve, fully automatic espresso machine is the phrase that I would use to describe the Nespresso Latissima Plus single serve espresso machine, and we're going to talk about it today here on Presto Chef. Parts on the Latissima Plus. First of all, you have on the front of this small tray right here folds down this little accessory that's going to allow you to descale the machine. Next up, you've got your milk tank. Now this just simply attaches right here on the machine. That of course is for brewing milk-based beverages. You have one drip tray. This drip tray is just going to slide in here. It's multi-use, slides forward in order to use bigger mugs if you would like. You have your pod collection tray. It's going to collect up to about 12 capsules, empty it out earlier, because otherwise it gets a little bit gross. And of course, you have the machine itself with the water tank on the back, the body of the machine, and any capsules that you might use with the Plus as well. Features on the Latissima Plus. It features four buttons on the top of the machine, all of which give you access to the various brew types that you can use with the machine. You have your standard uh, Lungo and Espresso shots if you're just brewing coffee. You also have a cappuccino and macchiato option, and that of course is going to require that you have the milk tank connected and ready to make your beverage. Let's show you the operation of the Latissima Plus. I'm going to add a large mug here. I pushed that tray towards the back. Now I'm going to drop a capsule in. Now we're using a Nespresso capsule, but you can use Nespresso compatible capsules like any of the ones that we have just to the left of the machine right here. Now we're gonna choose our beverage. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and brew a cappuccino by just pressing the cappuccino button on the top of the machine. Now make sure that your milk spout is pointing directly at your mug, otherwise you are gonna get milk everywhere and that's no fun. Now we're gonna measure the temperature as we go along here as well because I know a lot of folks are always wondering about the temperature that we can get off of these single serve machines, so we'll see what we get here today. Now again, as I say, I'm making a cappuccino and that's going to happen by first frothing the milk. After the milk has been frothed, the coffee is going to brew and the machine is obviously single button, one button operation, which is great. You are a little bit limited because you only have those two buttons on the top of the machine, but you can change it up a little bit. I could make a mocha if I wanted, add a little chocolate, then brew my milk, brew my coffee, give it a stir. I would have a mocha, you can make a vanilla cappuccino maybe with some vanilla syrup. So you do have different options, but again, you're going to have to kind of step in and be a little more manual about it. Overall, it's not a big deal because let's face it, this is all work you don't have to do. You don't have to froth the milk separately. You don't have to brew the coffee separately. The machine is going to do all of that for you immediately and with just one button operation. And there's our cappuccino. Let's go ahead and pull this and see what we've got. We're at about 140, 145 degrees. So it's not the hottest brew, but it's also certainly not cold by any means. If you like a hotter brew, you can prime the machine to get a little bit hotter brew out of it. And let's give you some Presto Chef tips about the Nespresso Latissima Plus. The first tip is prime the machine and do that by simply running some hot water through the machine and into your mug. You're gonna get your mug nice and hot, get your machine a little bit hotter and get a hotter brew out of the machine, which of course we all know that a lot of folks prefer a hotter brew. Coming at about 140 degrees Fahrenheit, it's nice to get just a little bit more out of the plus. Next Presto Chef tip is buy your capsules in advance so you never run out. You can always check out the Nespresso compatible capsules that we've talked about here on Presto Chef, some of the ones I have right here. Keep plenty of those on hand so that when friends come over or something like that, you don't run out and run out of coffee. We all know that's an embarrassing situation to be in. Another Presto Chef tip is to hack your coffee experience with the Nespresso Latissima Plus. And what I mean by hack is instead of only brewing the two beverage types that you have access to with the milk frother, have a little bit of fun with it. You can make Americanos if you run some hot water into coffee that you've already brewed. You can brew longer shots, you can make mochas. Uh, one thing that I have found is that if you wanna be able to froth just milk and maybe not coffee, you can start a brew process with just the milk, let that froth and then stop it. Press that button on the top, stop it before your coffee brews and you'll have frothed milk. Might not be the most optimal way to use the machine, but it is a little bit of a hack and a way that you can use this machine to get even more beverages as you use it at home. Another Presto Chef tip is to reset the machine to its standard operating functions. Uh, and you can check out our other video on how to do that. Now, why would you wanna do that? Well, very simply, as you use the machine, if you happen to reprogram the brew types, the brew lengths, things like that, you can start to get some 
watered down beverages, let's say. And because there's only so much coffee in Nespresso capsules, it is important to use the right amount of water in order to be able to get the most optimal beverage. And our final Presto Chef tip, use the proper capsule for the beverage that you're going to be brewing. If the capsule says Lungo on it, as you will find with some Nespresso capsules and Nespresso compatible capsules, you want to use that for, of course, brewing a beverage that would require a Lungo. The reason for that is that those capsules are going to have a little more or a little less coffee inside of them, depending on what you're going to be brewing. That way, again, you're going to get a more optimal brew and beverage experience. And there you have it guys, that's a look at the Nespresso Latissima Plus single serve espresso machine. It comes in at about $399, which is not too bad if you're looking for a machine. It's going to give you an all-around experience, especially if you're an espresso, espresso lover. Uh, you're going to get a good experience with this machine, most definitely, and simple one button operation. Now, as always, if you guys have questions, comments, if I've missed anything, or if you just want to talk, get in touch in the comments section of this video. Find us on your favorite social media network. Visit us on our website. And as always, guys, please make sure to rate, comment, share, subscribe, and everything else in the book. I'm grateful for you guys tuning in here at Presto Chef. We're going to help you become a better cook with Presto Chef. Until next time, guys, I'm Brian. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Presto Chef, and today on Presto Chef we're going to be talking about the Nespresso DeLonghi Latissima Pro Single Serve Espresso Machine. The biggest standout feature on this machine is that it's going to give you one button operation to get multiple beverages, including cappuccinos, lattes, and other beverages that you can make with the press of one button. Let's dive in and talk about the machine.